Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Tuesday, August the 15th, 2017. All right. So, basically, looking here, starting off with silver, you see that um, here on the weekly chart market's coming down it's coming down a lot and that uh, $16.62 62 and a half is pretty much where it's setting right now market needs to close above this for the week if it's going to put it into this downtrend all right if it does not do that then unfortunately we're going to be heading down here somewhere, probably back down toward the $15 handle, I have to say. All right, this momentum is looking like this. Looks like we're putting another leg down like we did back here. So like we did here, and like we did here, and now we're doing it again here. All right, so... Eh, We'll see if we get a continuation pattern here in the overnight market. But as of right now, it is what it is, folks. All right, looking at gold. I did like silver more than I like the gold today. And let's see here. Gold, as you can see, is just sideways. All right, here, here. And here, like silver stuff, with this one instead of a downtrend, this one's just a, a a very wide trading range. Every time you get up here to the range, you correct. So this one has not broken the price inflection point for the week, which is twelve dollars. I'm sorry, twelve hundred and sixty-nine dollars and forty cents. All right, right now it's, we're trading at uh, twelve seventy-seven eighty. So as long as you can stay about twelve sixty-nine forty on the week. This one actually has some bullish momentum built into it. So this is uh, this is interesting how the metals are not, uh, you know, moving together as far as trend. Silver is just a whole lot weaker. And again, congratulations to all those that caught that nice move in the um, in the silver today. All right, let's take a look at this um, this dollar index. Let's look at this dollar. All right, so as you can see here, the dollar is coming back. All right, it came back, and now it's it's bumping up against resistance here at this uh, momentum line at the price inflection point of ninety three dollars and ninety three cents. Got to get back to a hundred. Got to get back to par, you know. And right now, it's struggling to do that. But you know, it's looking like it's trying to build this base and make a run for it here. All right. All the market needs to do is close above ninety three ninety three, which is it's just setting on it right now. Just a tab below that. So if a close above that puts an end to this downtrend, then the market can get back up here and get back up to 96. So we'll see what's happening. Right now, the dollar was very powerful today versus the counterpart, just like I told you yesterday. What will happen if that dollar got mighty? I showed you that that euro was going to come off. And that's pretty much what happened. All right, let's see here. Let's blow this up. All right, see the euros coming down here toward the momentum line. Got to close this week above 117.21, or it's going to lose that and start correcting as the dollar becomes more powerful. Still here early in the week, so we're not going to panic just yet, but I just wanted to show you this, how it's starting to come off. Um, as far as... The NASDAQ 100, looking at the stock market here. Let's blow this one up. All right, it's still bullish. It's still powerful, right? It's not It's not falling out of bed. It's just consolidated right now, top side of the Kumbo Cloud. How about the Dow? Well, let's see. 
taking a look at the Dow. Same thing. All right, still powerful. How about XIV? Is there a secret? Ah, here we go. So here's your XIV. XIV needs to close above 86.62 on the week. Right now it's at 84.56. If it can't do it, then this could spell trouble brewing underneath the surface in the stock market. We could be seeing a ginormous leg down next week. This could be leading the market, and we'll see this come here the following week, and it'll put it down here to the trend line support at $65.31. So you're looking at a virtually a $20 drop that's coming if this this market can't close above that uh, price inflection point of uh, 86.62. All right, let's see what else we need to look at. Uh, let's take a look at GDXJ. Whoops, I think I went too far. All right, you can see nothing's happening here. Drop below that uh, price inflection point momentum line, and it's just consolidated now. It's not really hitting new lows but it's not able to get above the trend line resistance of thirty three dollars and thirty four cents that's where it needs to close above this week if it's going to really make a run at the thirty four dollars and sixty three cent overhead resistance which is here and if it does that it's going to dance along this line here it could push itself in the kumo cloud it can catch this vortex area up in here and you never know so we'll watch and see it's just no conviction in this market right now, either way. All right, GBTC. What's the Bitcoinage looking like? Well, as you can see, we're still red here, okay? So market is still falling down. Um, and at the time of doing this video right now, I know earlier today it was like down like 8%. Uh, right now, it's off. Let's see, I'm still wait for this thing to load. Last price I had was four thousand one hundred and fifty-four dollars and twenty-nine cents, down three point nine one percent. Yep, that's what it is. So, still red. All right, still a lot of red. Market's down three hundred bucks from off of its um its highs. So. GBTC gave back some today to close down $54.99. So close below $700 a share. Close at $685.01. All right, so that's something that we need to watch. BTSC. BTSC closed down $0.04. Cents. All right, so let's take a look at this one. All right, you can see it's coming off. All right, downtrend channel is showing that it's still intact. This is not good. This should be hitting new highs. GBTC hit new highs. Even NVIDIA hit new highs, and this one can't. This is acting like AMD. So B BTSC is going to need to step up. Speaking of AMD, take a look at AMD. See, AMD is still weak, man. That's a, we got an inside weak bar. If it's going to stave off the downside, it needs to close about $13.20 this week. Or it's 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 looking like it's gonna crash and burn. All right, looking at Nvidia right now. Looking strong right now. Nvidia is looking strong right now. Like we're about to run to another high. If we don't do it this week, we'll probably take out the the highs next week. So Nvidia is looking like the place to be on this pullback. All right, I think I've covered everything I need to cover right now. There's not, there's not a whole lot to talk about. At the moment, except for silver, silver did well. Silver paid as well today. All right, so with that being said, uh, we'll see what happens when I update the pulse waves. And uh, we'll see what happens later on this evening. If you're not already a member of the uh, Black Ops Trading Room, do yourself a favor and go ahead and get that on and popping. Come to PulseWaveTrading.com so you can learn how to navigate these algorithmic muddy waters that are called markets 
learn how and when and where to take profit learn how to get into positions to make profit learn when to dodge the bullet the Bitcoin pullback is significant have you locked in your profits or are you losing money are you bleeding all right postwavetrading.com and remember bulls make money bears make money and pigs get slaughtered so remember to take what you can and give nothing back to these greedy central banks and keep an eye out so you'll know when hack is back right now it's not but we could be setting up for something else here in this hack stay tuned peace